Researchers bypass Apple's iOS activation lock on iPhone and iPad. How exciting. Guys, let's take a look at the newest iCloud bypass for iOS 10. So today, this morning, I was actually quite excited to learn that there has been a new bypass that allows you to jump into the springboard on iOS 10 on any iCloud lock to iPhone or iPad. So this works on the latest 10.1.1 firmware. And in this video, I wanna go ahead and show you that bypass running on an iPhone 6S restored to 10.1.1 with iCloud lock enabled. Also, I wanted to talk about iOS 10.2 beta 5, like all in one little mashup video. Sorry I didn't post this earlier because I was uh, out shooting. I got a new handgun, I'm super excited about that, my SIG. So uh, yeah, anyways, this is freshly restored. All it is is a buffer overflow bug. And I was a little surprised to see this reposted like everywhere. It's on BGR, Apple Insider, ARS Technica, and a whole bunch of other websites. And they made such a big deal out of this. Let me show you what it is. So on an iCloud locked phone, basically when you jump into the Wi-Fi settings, select choose another network. And in here, go into your emojis. It's actually a very simple glitch and just start pumping them in as many as you can. And basically when you've got a lot, go ahead and copy all of them and paste them. Then copy the even bigger amount and continue pasting it. So let me paste a huge mammoth amount I have. Um, it starts glitching once it knows you're about to paste them all in. And eventually your phone will go into this freeze state. Once you have so many emojis, it can't handle it. That's when you start uh, powering it off. So hold the power button, click cancel, and not enough emojis. So I have to paste some more in. Um, so it won't always work and we'll paste even more. So now it's frozen again. Hold the power button down, click cancel, and start swiping in any direction really. I found that the more you swipe, the more intense it gets. But basically it'll start jumping through into the springboard just like that, and it froze for me. So all of these websites made such a big deal out of this exploit when in reality, it's really not that crazy at all. You can get into the springboard as you can see, but what can you do from here? Absolutely nothing. So yeah, it is a sort of bypass. Eventually it does go back to the front page, and I'm sure with this you can find another way in, but for now this is all that happens. It just gets stuck and we can't really go in any further. So that's the iCloud bypass that has been hitting the news today and I was so excited to try it out and that's all it is. I was a little disappointed to learn that. Unfortunately, even the DNS uh, temporary solution has been patched where you were able to use like a website in the background on the latest version of iOS 10. So really, unless someone figures something else out, this isn't cutting yet. That's not a bypass, not what I would consider one. So yeah, don't always trust the news. I'm surprised to see it on Apple Insider, to be honest. I thought they would have verified it. I mean, it works, it's just not that big of a deal. Anyways, iOS 10.2 beta 5. So today, iOS 10.2 beta 5 was released. It was a very tiny update, around like 50 something megabytes. So if I jump into here, I wanna show you guys I am on the latest build number. And this is very likely the final version. Once Apple starts speeding up the releases like this, two in one week, we know the final release is coming next week, and I'm almost certain of that. So iOS 10.2 should be released here certainly very soon, but what's new in this version? There's actually a couple of changes, and first being the video crash issue. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what happens now if you try and play it. All right, so I have the video right here. The sound, this is the video and it almost seems to freeze at the end, but will anything happen at all? Usually it takes like 15 or 30 seconds before your phone starts acting up, it gets a little slow and then completely freezes. So what happens? Nothing, because it has been patched in this latest version. I was a little sad to see this one go because I had so much fun sending it to friends. It's a lot of fun uh, to crash people's phones. So of course it has to go. It was a memory leak issue that has been resolved in this latest beta. Now I haven't actually checked this one, but has the passcode bypass been fixed in this latest beta? I'm really curious. So I'm gonna give myself a call real quick. Message, custom, and cancel that one. Enable voiceover. Okay, so voiceover still works. One, two, three. Message. So just like that, it's no longer working. Now, this is only an update with the iOS update. That means the iPhone 4S and iOS 9.3.5 is still vulnerable. If Apple doesn't release an update for that, I'm actually gonna be very surprised. Besides this, 
really no changes in uh, software. And there it is, guys, just a quick update, 10.2. You better count on it being released next week and an iCloud bypass that isn't really useful. Okay, thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. Peace.